Hi and good day. This is Teacher Judy. This time, I will help you recognize the parts of a paragraph. To begin with, let us make a short paragraph by answering these questions. First question, where did you spend your vacation? If I am to answer this question, I would say, I spend my vacation at home. Next question. How was your vacation? Or how do you describe your vacation? Well, for me, it was worthwhile and fun. Next question. Who were your companion? My answer would be, I spend quality time with my parents and siblings. What did you do there? Well, we play with my siblings most of the time. Now, let's make a list of our answers. Here are our answers. With this, I will make a short paragraph. See how I construct the short paragraph. Have you noticed the difference between the list we make and the paragraph that I constructed? Now that we have constructed a short paragraph, let's discuss more on its parts. But first, Let's read this short story. In the farm. My vacation in the farm is perfect. The whole family stayed there for one month. We help our father in harvesting fruits. We also helped our mother in cooking our food. I learned many things about cooking. I enjoyed my vacation very much. Next year, the whole family will stay there again. I hope my parents will allow me to swim in the river. That ends the short story. Now let's take a look at the paragraph. What do we call the first sentence? Most of the times, but not all the times, the first sentence is called the topic sentence. A topic sentence states the main idea of the paragraph. Again, a topic sentence is usually found at the first part of the paragraph. Now what sentences support the main sentence or the topic sentence? The supporting details are usually found in the middle sentences. They support the main idea or the topic sentence. Now in this paragraph, how does it end? The ending sentence in this paragraph summarizes or gives conclusion. Now you might want to ask, how did the author organize the paragraph? In writing a paragraph, always remember, focus on one topic. And the topic of this paragraph is vacation. Now kindly look on how we write the first sentence of the paragraph. In writing a paragraph, don't forget to indent the first sentence. To sum up our discussion, here are the points to remember. A paragraph is made up of sentences that explain or present the details of a topic. 
A good paragraph has three parts. The beginning sentence, which usually states the main idea. The middle sentences, which support the main idea. And the ending sentence, which summarizes or gives a conclusion. Remember also to observe the following tips in writing a paragraph. Focus on one topic. Complete the paragraph with an ending sentence, which may be an idea, a decision, or a conclusion. Indent the first sentence of the paragraph. Begin the first word of a sentence with a capital letter and end each sentence with the correct punctuation mark. Now it's your turn to make your own paragraph. You write about your first day of school. To be guided, we have these questions. You describe your first day in school in one sentence. And who are your friends? Who were your new classmates? What did you do? And what would you like to happen in the next opening of classes? If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask your teacher for help. And if you are done, submit your work promptly. That's it. Enjoy writing!